Hallelujah. We are all welcome to Foundation Ministries Worldwide um, here in the headquarters of Ennis, County Clare, um, Ireland. Uh, today we are going into our Bible study. Um, we were just doing an hour's Bible study and we believe that God will bless us with his word. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And I believe that you will be blessed today, even as we look into the Word of God. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, you know, the Bible says that uh, it says the Word, it brings about light. Mm -hmm. and when it enters us, mm -hmm. it says the entrance of the Word, it giveth light mm -hmm. and understanding to what the simple. Amen. So I just want you to be have a simple heart today Amen. and receive the Word of God Amen. as it comes. Uh, towards us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So Father, we want to thank you. We want to give you praise. We Amen. honor you. We bless your name. We thank you, Lord Father, for this day that you have given unto us. Amen. We thank you because, Lord, we know it is a creation of yours. Yes. It's not by our power. It's not by our yes. might that we have seen today, but it's by your grace. And we want to say thank you. Thank you that we are able to gather, even to praise you and, Lord, to Lord, even look into your word. Amen. We want to give you praise. We Amen. thank you for your presence that is here, which yes, will make Lord. the difference. Yes, thank you for the presence of your Holy Spirit, yes, that Jesus. Lord will make the difference here Amen. today. Jesus. We give you all the glory. Amen. We say, Lord, speak to us. Amen. Lord, even as we look into your word, reveal Amen. yourself even the more to us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray that, Lord, every heart, Lord, that is connected tonight, even to hear your word, I pray, let them be blessed by your word. Amen. Let them be lifted by your word. Amen. Let them be exalted by your word, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let your word bring about turn around in their situations in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We ask, O Lord, that your Holy Spirit take control. Lead us and guide us. Take us through this study. Reveal even the Lord even more unto us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are doing a study on today on obedience. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The obedience is very, very important in the life of any child of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If you are a child of God, one of the things that God requires of you is to be obedient. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. To be obedient. That is just hacking on to what you have been told to do. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That is the great thing about obedience. Just, just doing what you are told to do. And the Lord has given us so much, I mean, so many instructions, so many commands that we need to kind of hearken to. And all that God requires of us is to just hearken to them. Do what he has said we should do as children of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That brings us to our first scripture in John chapter 14, verse 1. John chapter 14, verse 1. It says, If ye love me, keep my what? Commandments. If ye love me, keep my what? Commandments. This is not a word of man, but it's the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus says, if you love me, he says, keep my commands. So if you love God, you, you definitely one of the things that will show whether you love God or not is whether you keep his commands or not. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It is so important for a child of God to keep his commands, to keep the ways of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's why we see this is our study today that we want to look into that word obedience what it does it mean to be obedient what are the what are the things that you know what is our reward for being obedient praise the name of the lord Hallelujah. but first of all we're going to look if jesus said this he says if you love me you keep my commands then that means he would have he would have shown us an example of what it means to be obedient Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He would have shown us an example of what it means to be obedient. Because Jesus would not be saying we should do something that he cannot do or has not already done. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So the first thing is that Jesus always did the will of the Father. Jesus always did what? The will of the Father. Whatever the Lord asked him to do, he did. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Without any complaint, without any murmuring, he did what his father told him to do. John chapter eight, John chapter six, verse thirty-eight. John chapter six, verse thirty-eight. He says, "For I come down from heaven, not to do my own 
will, but the will of him that would send me to do what the will of him that sent me. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And that is what the position of every child of God should be. We are in the position to do what the will of him that has what sent us or called us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus says, I have come from heaven to do the will of what him that has sent me. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So it's very important. Jesus has laid down an example for us by saying so, by, by letting us know that what he has come to do is the will of the Father, to obey the Father from the beginning to the end, without any complaint, without any murmuring. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But what happens is that the, the reason why people become disobedient is because they change and want to do their own will. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. They change and want to do their own will. Bible says, if we what are in Christ, what we are not a new creature. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He says, Behold, all things have passed away. All things have what? Become new. Yeah. Old ways are to pass away. All part of the things about our old ways is our will. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We must drop our will mm -hmm. and follow the will of what? The Father. And that is what Jesus did. When he came, he was able to drop his own will and what do the will of the Father. That is why he was able to say here in John chapter 6, verse 38, he says, For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, not to do my own will. And so should it be for every child of God. It's not your own will when it comes to the things of God. It is the will of him that has called you and has sent you. Praise the name of the Lord. John chapter 8, verse 29. John chapter 8 verse 29 also he says for I do always those things that please him those things that please him another way that children of God can be disobedient is doing the things that do not please God but Jesus says what I have come what for I do those things that what please him it's a way of being obedient to God when we do the things that what please him he has sent us that what that we should do things that what that please him so he can rejoice in us so that he can be happy with us so that he can be glad with us praise the name of the lord amen hallelujah amen. praise the name of the lord amen. hebrews chapter 10 verse 7 lo i come to do thy will O god and that is what we have come to do to do the will of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. As a child of God, as somebody who has what given his life to Christ, your position now is to do the will of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And one thing that Hebrews chapter 5 tells us is that Hebrews chapter 5, 8 to 10. It says, son though he was, a son though he was, he learned what obedience from what he suffered and once made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. What is that scripture telling us? That obedience is not something that just comes back upon us, but it is something that we need to learn. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The Bible tells us that Jesus learned obedience until he became what? Perfect. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And that's why the way that we should take obedience is something that we should learn as a child of God. When we give our lives to Christ, one of the things that we should learn to do is to be what? Obedient to the Father. Amen. To be obedient to the Father. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And one thing that Jesus did again was that he was obedient right up to the end. Not up today, down tomorrow, tomorrow, next tomorrow, you are in a different class. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Our obedience must be unto death. Once we give our lives to Christ, once we say we we we, we take up the cross, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Our duty is to what? To be obedient. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it's important that we know that. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 2 verse 8 will tell us that. That we need to be what obedient right up to the end. 
right up to the end. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. First uh, Peter chapter 2, to, uh, 21 and 22, just in summary, it tells us that, you know, the life of Christ is the pattern for what perfection Oh, I don't know how I can be obedient. I don't know what, what it would take me to, to be obedient. Follow the life of Christ. Follow his ways. Obedience will become what is simple thing to you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Obedience will become a simple thing to do. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So what, what, what are the reasons why God requires obedience for us from us? What are some of the reasons why God requires obedience from us? Because if we remember uh, the life of Joseph, it is obedience that propelled Joseph from that mediocre life to what to the life of what of being what a um, a king actually in the palace. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm. Obedience, obedience takes us from the low level to great levels, levels that we we we, we can't even imagine. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. There are places we have not reached today because of what disobedience, because of not pleasing God in our ways. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But take an example from the life of Joseph. He was obedient right until the end. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And the Lord exalted him. And that's why if you come, go away with this word today, the, it will make a change in your life. And I know the Lord will exalt you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We don't want to be like Saul, that disobedience destroyed what his destiny. Mm. Disobedience destroyed the destiny of Saul. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Couldn't wait, offer the sacrifice that he was not supposed to offer. And that was the end of what his destiny mm. because of what disobedience. That's right. Samuel said, wait for me. Wait for me. That was just an instruction. Wait for me till I get there. But he decided I went to offer, make an offer of sacrifice that he was not supposed to make. And that destroyed his destiny. If you read the Bible, the Bible says, God says the things that I would have done for David, I would have done in his life too. So that means what he did for David would have done for Saul if Saul had obeyed. Mm. If Saul had obeyed. So obedience is very important. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So we're looking into what, you know, what are those things that, why is it, you know, necessary for us to be obedient? Why is it necessary? Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 24, gives us a very simple answer. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 24. It says, And the Lord commanded to us to observe all these statutes. It's like saying to obey all these statutes. To fear the Lord for our good always. For our good always. So being obedient is for our good. Is for our good. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Is for our good. Is for our promotion. Is for our lifting. Is for our exaltation. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's the reason for uh, uh, why God requires us what to be obedient. Because it's for our good. Who doesn't want anything good? I want something good. So why would I be obedient? Well, I know that it is for my good that God. Obedient. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It says, to, and the Lord commanded us, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 24. And the Lord commanded us to observe all these statutes, to fear the Lord our God, for our good always, that he might preserve us alive nice. as it is this day. It's for our good. Yes. One of the things that was pointed out there is that he preserves us Amen. when we what we are obedient. The Lord preserves us. He divinely protects us. The way he protected what uh, Joseph. The way he protected Joseph. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He would divinely preserve our life. Divinely preserve our life. So there's preservation in obedience. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Another thing about obedience is that God offers many blessings. God gives us, there are many blessings for being what? Obedient to the Lord. There are many blessings. We're going to have a look at a few and just see what the Lord is saying. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Genesis chapter 22. Genesis chapter 22, verse 18. And the Lord was speaking to Abraham. And he says, And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. And in thy seed, all, uh, uh, and thy seed shall all nations be what? Be blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because thou hast what? Obeyed my voice. Abraham obeyed the voice of God. God called him and said, Son, you have to go and sacrifice your son today. After, after him, <laughs> Abraham has waited and waited for his son. Has even given up hope for his son. And then God came into his life and he got his son. And then the Bible says that God one morning, woke, I mean, I mean uh, one night, woke uh, Abraham up and says, That son, I need you to sacrifice him tomorrow morning. And the Bible says, immediately uh, Abraham woke up. He did not complain. He did not murmur. He did not think about what even God says. He obeyed. What, he obeyed the voice of God that he had. He obeyed the voice of God that he had. And he went and he was prepared to what? Sacrifice his son. Just as what the Lord had commanded. But God had to stop him. Because if God did not stop him, how would how would God now how would how would it look? When we now say God has what sacrificed his own son, that means Abraham would have done the same. Sacrifice his own son. But God had to stop him because it was not yet time for that. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But what we are talking about is obedience. Abraham woke up and did not complain. He obeyed and went on to want to sacrifice his son Isaac. Isaac said, we are going. We have everything. We have the wood. We have everything. Where is the sacrifice? So he said, ah, don't worry. When we get there, we get, we'll find the sacrifice. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Lord provided that sacrifice. When he stopped him, he says, look, the angel of the Lord said, look in the bushes. You will see a ram. And take that and sacrifice. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But to the point that what we are talking about is Abraham was prepared to sacrifice his son. Why? Because he knows that the God that has given him Isaac is able to give him another Isaac. Trusted God. Amen. Trusted God right to God. And he was obedient because he trusted God. He, was, he made him obedient. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And what? how did God bless him? He says what? In thy seed shall all nations what be blessed. Shall all nations be blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In thy seed shall all nations. If he can do that for Abraham, why wouldn't he do that for us? Mm. Yes, Lord. If he can do that for Abraham, yes, why can't Lord. he do that for us? Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Why wouldn't he do that for us? Why wouldn't he bless our own seed if we are obedient? Our seed will be blessed. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Our children will be blessed. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. If we decide to obey Him. Yes, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 11, 26 to 28. Deuteronomy chapter 11, chapter 20. Uh, Deuteronomy 11, 26 to 28. Just summarize it. It says, Behold, I said before you this day, a blessing. And what a cause? A blessing if ye what obey. And a cause if ye do not what obey. That's summarizing it. He says, God says, I said before you today what a blessing and a cause. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, I said before you a blessing. He says, if ye obey, you get blessed. Amen. 
So you want to live a blessed life, a blessed life. You begin to obey. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Obedience is where you get blessings from God. It attracts what it attracts what blessings from God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I've given you a life of what uh, of 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 of, uh, uh, of Joseph. Joseph obeyed and the Lord blessed him. Mm. Praise the name. Blessed him beyond what his imagination. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 4 and 5. The Lord shall greatly bless thee if thou carefully hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all these commandments. The Lord shall greatly bless thee. Greatly bless thee. So not only blessed, but greatly blessed. You'll be greatly blessed. Amen. By just being what? Obedient. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's why when the brothers of Joseph came, they could not recognize him because he was greatly blessed. Mm. Blessed beyond what their imagination did. Even if they knew it was Joseph, they said, it can't be. It may just look like him. Mm. It can't be the one that we have sold to the Midianites. No, it can't be. Mm. They won't know him because he was greatly blessed. Mm. Second in command in Egypt. Greatly blessed. Mm. From the pit towards the palace. From the pit to the palace. Greatly blessed. Greatly blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Then if we look at Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 and 2. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 and 2. It says, And all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of thy God. If you read downwards from there, you will see some dangerous blessings which will come your way when you are obedient to the voice of God. There's a price for what? Obedience. Amen. That's what it tells us. There's a price for obedience. Mm. And in all these blessings shall come on thee. Not just like that. And overtake thee. If. If is what? The, the big word there. Yes. If. If. Thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord. There's a price to pay for what? For I mean, for, 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 for obedience. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The price is what? Hearkening unto the voice. When you hear from God, when God instructs you, you do as he says. Just like Jesus says, I come to do the will of him who has sent me. Amen. When Jesus hears from the Father, he goes straight ahead and do it. Mm. So also, it should be in our own. That when we hear from him, when he gives us an instruction, we go doing it without question, just like Abraham. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 23. He says what? But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and ye shall be my people, and walk ye in all the ways I have commanded you, that it may be well with you. Amen. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you obey, God says, I will be with you. He says, you will be mine. Praise the name of the Lord. Then he says, it will be well with you. Why? Because he's going to be with you and you are going to be his own. Amen. You obey. You see, the presence of God, you will not lack his presence. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because he will always be with you. You will be his own. His eyes will be upon you all the days of your life. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's why it looks on to Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 23. 
Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 23. Yeah. Thank you. Hallelujah. He says what? I will be with you. I will be your God. He says, and you will be my people. You will be for me. Amen. His eyes will be upon you. Continually. His eyes will be upon you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he says, it will be well with you. And if it is well with you, that means it's well with your family, yes. well with your children, yes. well with your home, well with your marriage, well with everything you do, well with your business, with your career, with your academics, mm. it will be well with you. Amen. Just by what? Hearkening to the word, the voice of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Hearkening to the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Another thing that what? That obedience brings to us is what? Is peace and rest peace and rest it is promised to us if we obey if we obey praise the name of the lord amen obedience is better than what sacrifice praise the name of the lord hallelujah hallelujah amen praise the name of the lord hallelujah hallelujah amen. if we look at psalm 19 verse 11 psalm 19 Verse 11. Let me just take it there. Sorry. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 19 and verse 11. I will just read it from here. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 19 and verse 11. Now, Psalm 19 verse 11. It says, Moreover, by them is thy servant warned. Hallelujah. He says, in keeping them, there is great reward. I want us to, let, let us, let us, uh, okay, let us start from verse 8. That is what I wanted to do. Let us, or verse 7. He says, the law of the Lord is perfect. I'm starting from verse 7. He says, the law of the Lord is perfect, covering the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. And then verse 10, he says, More to be desired are they than gold. Yeah. The statutes of the Lord. Yeah. The word of God. He says, more is it to be what desired yes. than gold. Mm -hmm. ha, than gold. Yea, than much fine gold. Yes. Sweeter also than honey and the word and the uh, honeycomb. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. More is it to be desired yes. than gold or fine gold. Yes. He says, moreover by them is thy servant warned. That is how God speaks to us sometimes through the word. Yes. He warns us through the word. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And he says, in keeping them, that is what I'm talking about today, there is great reward. Mm -hmm. He says, in keeping the statutes, in keeping the word of God, he says there is great reward. That means God will reward you Amen. for being obedient. Amen. In keeping these commandments, God will reward you. Mm. In walking in his ways, God will reward you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He won't just leave you alone. He will reward you. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Proverbs chapter 3, 1 and 2. Proverbs chapter 3, 1 and 2 tells us that what? If we keep his commands, he says, Peace shall he add unto me by keeping what? His commands. Peace will be my portion. Peace will be your portion. Amen. When you keep the commands of the Lord, when you walk in the ways of the Lord, when you are obedient to the Lord, he says, Peace will he bring to you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 17. That is a great word for peace. Isaiah 32 
verse 17. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 17. He says, and the walk of righteousness, the walk of righteousness, it pro righteousness will produce obedience in us. But look at what it says. Shall be what? Peace. Shall be peace. And the work of righteousness shall be peace. And the effect of righteousness, quietness and assurance forever. Mm. Peace, quietness forever. Mm. The work of righteousness, the effect of righteousness, the effect of being obedient is what you receive peace and what quietness. The effect of being obedient, peace and quietness shall be your portion shall be your portion. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. No wonder it, it, the, the word says there, there is no peace for what the wicked. There is no peace for the wicked. Praise the name of the Lord because Hallelujah. a wicked person doesn't, he doesn't have any he, he, uh, uh, atom of obedience for God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Another thing that what obedience does for us is that it brings prosperity. Mm. Prosperity. Mm. Obedience. It brings prosperity. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 3. And then 10 to 11, and then 18, and then 24. I repeat again, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 3, 10 to 11, 18, and 24. I'll just summarize. Summarizing, it says, Hear and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may what? Increase mightily. Hallelujah. Amen. Do that which is right and good in the sight of the Lord, that it may be what? Well with thee. When you do what is right, when you obey God, when you do what he has asked you to do, then you will increase mightily. Yes, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You will prosper mightily. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It says it will be well with thee. It will be well with thee. Amen. You will prosper. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's look at Deuteronomy chapter 7. We're talking of prosperity. We're talking of success. That obedience brings success. Success. Deuteronomy chapter 7, 11 to 14. Deuteronomy chapter 7, 11 to 14. It says, Therefore keep the commandments, do them, that the Lord God shall keep unto thee the covenant and the mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. And he will love thee. He will bless thee. And he will multiply thee. Yes. He will also bless the fruit of thy womb. And the fruit of thy land. Amen. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What a loaded blessing for mm. being what obedient. Mm. He says the Lord will love thee. Yes. He says he will bless thee. Yes. He says he will multiply thee. Yes. And he says he will bless thee. The fruit of thy womb and the fruit of thy land. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And thou shalt be blessed above all people. Brings about divine lifting, divine promotion. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because the Lord loves you. He loves you. When, you. when you obey him, he begins to love you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. He begins to bless you. He begins to multiply you. Yeah, Hallelujah. Look, as, just take an example, as I say, from the life of Joseph. Mm. The Lord loved him. Mm. Same thing as David. He says, I love David because my, he's a man after my own heart. David was a man after the heart of And God had to say it because he saw it in David. Because he was, he, 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 he obeyed God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. David would not go and do anything without asking God, inquiring from God. Mm. He wants to obey God because he doesn't want to go and do his own will. Mm. He was going to fight with Goliath. He didn't want to go and do his own will. He said, God, what do I do? <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He came back to his village. The whole village burnt everything, taken away. His wives and everybody's wives were taken away. He says, oh, the, man, <laughs> the man wanted to start. He said, hold on. 
there's somebody I need to inquire of mm. that will give me an answer. Mm. And all I need to do is obey. Mm. Say, Lord, should I what? What should I do? Should I pursue them? Mm. Ha! And the Lord said, pursue them, overtake and recover all. Yes, Straight Lord. away, David rose up and went. Mm. And he pursued them, he overtook them, and he recovered everything. That Hallelujah. They were alive. Obedience. The Lord will love you. He will bless you. He will multiply you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, and you will be above all the people. Above all. Above all. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 is also a blessing of what? Obedience. He says, this book of the law, he says, what? Thou shalt, op he says, thou shalt meditate upon it, what? Day and night. Day and night. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And he says, when we do it, and we uh, when we do this thing and observe what is written in the word. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let me just say, he says, observe to do all the things that are written therein. He says, For thou shalt make thy way what prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. You want to be prosperous? You want to have good success. God has given you what, the, uh, what to do. Thou shalt what meditate upon thy word day and night. Day yes, and night. Our own is just to obey that. He has given us the answer. Oh, yes. And we shall be what prosperous. Yes. And what we shall what he says we shall have what good success. Yes. Good success. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. First Kings chapter 2 verse 3. First Kings chapter 2 verse 3. Summary. He says, walk in his ways that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest. Walk in his ways. Obey the Lord. What? Hearken to his voice. He says, that thou may prosper, prosper in all thy ways. In all that what you do. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You can put down First Chronicles chapter 22, verse 13. We are still talking of success. First Chronicles 22, verse 13. First Chronicles 22, 13. Then shalt thou prosper if thou takes heed to fulfill the statutes. If thou take heed to what obey the Lord, praise the name of then thou Amen. shalt prosper. Then thou shalt prosper. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If you obey, it is a is a is a is a quick way what to prosperity. If you are obedient, then to crown it all, Job chapter thirty six verse eleven. It says, if they obey and serve him, they shall obey. Spend their what days in prosperity yes. and in their and their years in, in what pleasure. pleasure. Mm -hmm. Yes, if Lord. you obey. Yes, Lord. You want to what spend your time in prosperity? Oh, you want to spend your yes, years Lord. what uh, uh, your days in prosperity and your years in pleasure? Mm. Obey. Yes, Lord. If thou obey, be obedient to God. Mm. You will spend your days in prosperity and your years what in what in pleasure. pleasure. Obedience, obedience. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Then another thing that obedience does for us quickly is that it gives us joy. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It gives us joy, joy. Praise the name. If we if we obey the Lord, you find out that you'll be radiating with joy. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You'll be radiating with joy. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That is why the, the brothers of Joseph, they didn't meet him a sad person. No. He was a happy person. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He was happy in everything that he was doing. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And let us look at Psalm 40, verse 8. Let us see what it says. Psalm 40, verse 8. Mm. And the psalmist says, I delight to do thy will, O God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I delight to do thy will, O God. Mm. 
it must be a delight in us. You see, when, when, we, when, we, when we study the word of God, it brings about joy in us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Let me read it in another version, in, the, in God's word version. He says, I am happy to do your will. I am happy to do your will. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Obedience should be a source. It, it, it must be. It, it will be a source of joy for us. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Another one says, I enjoy pleasing you. I enjoy doing it. It brings about happiness. It brings about gladness. When we obey what? Uh, 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 the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And let us look at what Jesus told his disciples. After washing their feet, we look at John chapter 13, 14 to 17. John chapter 13, 14 to 17. Let's see what he told. He told them. He says, in obedience, you, you will be happy. He says, you will be happy in obedience. He says, in verse 14, I start from what He says, if then your Lord and teacher have washed your feet. Yes. You also ought to wash one another's feet. Mm. He was giving them an instruction. If I've washed your feet, then you ought also yes. to wash another one another's mm -hmm. feet. Mm -hmm. And that's why we do feet washing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise the name. He says, For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving that with you for you to yeah, do as I have done. Mm -hmm. He says, Most assuredly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than what his master. Mm -hmm. Nor is he, nor is he who is sent greater than he who sent him. Yes. He says, if you know these things, blessed are you if you will know them. Another version says, happy are you if you know them. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If, 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 uh, happy are you if you do them, sorry. Mm. If you do them. Happy are you if you do them. Yes, blessed Lord. are you if you do them. Mm. If you obey, if you obey, happiness will fill your life. Amen. Joy will fill your life. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because the blessings will be coming from right, left, and center. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Protection will be coming from right, left, and center. Mm. Promotion will be coming from right, left, and center. Amen. Your life will be full of joy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Victory over the enemy is another thing that what obedience gives us. Victory over the enemy. When we obey the, uh, the voice of God, when we hearken to his voice, when we are obedient to God, he gives us victory over our enemy. Exodus chapter 23 22 to 23. Mm. Exodus chapter 23, 22 to 23. Victory over our enemies. He says, but if thou in the, if, if you indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy to your enemy, mm -hmm. an adversary to your adversaries. Mm -hmm. For my angel will go before you and bring you in into the Amorites, the Hittites, and Perizzites, the Canaanites, Hivites, and Jebusites, and I will cut them off. Mm. And I will cut them off. What did he start with? But if you indeed obey his voice, mm. I will be an enemy to your enemy. Yes, Lord. And adversary to what? Your adversary. Yes. What happens? God begins to fight before you. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. God begins to fight for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That is why, 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 why if you remember the prophet Elisha, when he, he, uh, the enemy, he was surrounded by the enemy and he was there with his servant, the servant saw the enemy say, wow, we are finished. He says, alas, we are finished today because the whole enemy has surrounded us. Mm. But the prophet says, oh my God, I just pray that what you begin to see what I see. Hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And the uh, Bible says the eyes of that servant opened and he saw what? <laughs> God's angels. He saw, he saw them surrounded by what angels. Praise hmm. the name. God will fight for you. Amen. When you are obedient. Yes, him. Lord. When you are obedient to him. Hmm. God will fight for you. Yes. He fought for Joseph. 
Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He will fight for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Praise Lord. the name of the Lord. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 7, 15 and 16. And the Lord will take away from thee all sicknesses, but will lay upon them upon uh, uh, but it says, but will lay them upon all that hate thee. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And thou shalt come and thou shalt consume all the people which the Lord thy God shall deliver thee. Praise yes. the name of the Lord. Yes. He will take sickness away from you. Your obedience, he will take sickness away from you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He will not allow your enemy to what exact over you. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. To De Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Yes. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 and 2, and then we go to 7. We are talking about uh, um, victory over the enemy. Yes. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1 and 2. It says, again, it says, Now it shall come to pass, if you diligently what obey the voice of the Lord, your God, to observe carefully all his commandments, which I, I commanded you today, that the Lord your God will set you uh, will set you high above all. We have talked about that already. Mm. But let us see what he's talking about, victory over the enemy in verse 7. He says, the Lord will cause your enemies to rise. Uh, your, uh, sorry, the Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be, what? to be defeated. In the name of Jesus. To be the what? To be defeated. defeated. Hmm. Before your face. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. They shall come out against you in one way, but they shall flee what? In seven ways. Hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. He's not saying that you won't face battles. But the Lord says that he will cause you to get victory. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Amen. The battles will come, but victory will be yours. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. They will come out in one way, but they will flee what? Seven ways. Yes. Seven ways. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 81 verse 13 and 14. Mm. Oh, that... My people have they hearken to against they hearken on, if you hearken unto what the Lord will subdue your enemies. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He will subdue your enemies Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And finally, under under the uh, uh, the under um, victory over our enemies, Malachi chapter three verse eleven, he says, "And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake, mm. and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Yes. I shall rebuke the devourer all for your sake." Mm. When we have when we obe when we are obedient to the Lord, He will rebuke the devourer. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm. He will rebuke, rebuke the devourer mm. in our lives, over our lives. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. There are just two things I want to look at before we close. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is good health. As I say, he gives us good health when we are obedient to God. When we are obedient to God, he gives us good health. Did you hear that Joseph was ever sick? No. He was put in prison. He was put in the pit. He was sold and everything. But he never got sick. Mm. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. You're obedient, he will grant you good health. Mm. Did you see Jesus ever getting sick? No. No. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It is your portion. Good health is your portion. If you are obedient to the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 12. He says, then it shall come to pass because you listen to these judgments and keep and do them that the Lord your God will keep you, keep with you the covenant and the mercy which you have swore to the, your fathers. And then verse 15, 
and the Lord will take away from you all sicknesses and will, affl and, uh, and will afflict you with none of the terrible diseases of Egypt yes. which you have known, mm -hmm. but will lay them on all those who hate you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He takes away sickness. He takes away sickness. Sickness will try and come, but he will take it away. Take it away. He will take it away. Take it Praise away. the name of the Lord. Amen. He will take away sickness. If thou hearken unto us, if thou obedient unto the word of God, if you are obedient to his voice, if you walk in his ways, he takes away sickness. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Take away all sickness. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. None of the terrible diseases will he afflict you with. Praise the name of the Lord. But he will, he will afflict them on those what, who hate you. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Finally, long life. Ha, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Oh, in obedience, we obtain long life. In obedience, we obtain long life. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And Joseph reached a good old age. Praise the name of the Lord. And Moses reached what? A good old age. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And Joshua reached what? A good old age. Why? Because they were obedient. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 1. Uh, sorry, Deuteronomy chapter 4. 1 to 4. Deuteronomy 4, 1 to 4. Now, O Israel, listen to the statutes and the judgments which I had teach you to observe, that you may live and go in and possess the land that the Lord God of your fathers is giving you. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, you shall not add to the word which I commanded you. You shall not do what you feel like doing. But you should do what I te I'm telling you to do. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He said, Now take from it that you may keep the commands of the Lord your God, which I command you. Mm. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did at Baal Puer, and the Lord your God has destroyed among you all the men who followed Baal Puer. But you who have held fast to the Lord, your God are alive today, every one of you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You obey God, He gives you long life. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 2. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 2. That you may fear the Lord your God to keep all His statutes and all His commandments, which I command you, you and your sons and your grandson, all the days of your life, that and that your days may be what? Prolong it prolongs your life in just being obedient. Mm. It prolongs your life. You won't go where you shouldn't go. Mm -hmm. You won't go where you shouldn't go. Prolongs your life. Amen. There are some places we go, we just we are not supposed to be there. That's why we get into trouble. Mm. You won't hear what you are not supposed to hear. Yes. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You won't say what you are not supposed to say. Yes, Lord. If you are obedient to the Lord, your life will be what? Prolonged. Mm. Prolonged. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Kings chapter 3 verse 14. First Kings chapter 3 verse 14. He says, So if you walk in my ways to keep my statutes, uh, uh, to keep my statutes and my commandments as your father David walked, then I will lengthen your days. Then I will lengthen your days. It's a promise. We walk in his ways, he lengthens our days. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If we walk in the ways of the Lord, if we obey him, if we hearken to his voice, then he will lengthen our days. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not allow the enemy to steal you away. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 and 2, and then we close. Proverbs chapter 3. One and two, then we close. He says, My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. For length of days and long life and peace 
they will add to you. Keep my commands. For what? He says, for length of days, long life and peace shall he add to you. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. And I pray and I decree that that will be your portion Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Live a life of obedience. Yes. It has a great reward. He says you will be greatly blessed. He says you will be above all others. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He says what? Lent and what? Long life. Length of days and long life, what shall be yours? And peace shall be yours. Prosperity shall be yours. Amen. Good health shall be yours. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And I pray, I pray this evening for God to release that spirit of obedience Amen. unto each and every one that has connected in today. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That obedience will not become anything difficult for you. But it will be something that you will walk in and do easily. It will be easy for you to Amen. obey God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That same spirit that was upon Joseph. That same spirit that was upon David. That let it rest upon you. That same spirit that was upon Jesus. Mm. That was able to do what he, uh, uh, his father has sent him to do. Will rest upon you today. Amen. And you live a life of obedience. And enjoy the great rewards of obedience. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. And we thank you for connecting today. The Lord bless you. Amen. I confess tomorrow.